going on Libra welcome or welcome back to my channel elevated spirits it's Jazzy your favorite Kelly reader this is going to be your 1111 portal reading so we're just going to be getting some messages from spirit about what this portal energy is highlighting for you guys at this time what is it bringing to your attention to your awareness what are, is it maybe that you're manifesting or um, what is you know maybe needing to come back into balance what maybe is being rebalanced in your life at this time so we get some insight about that and for those of you that are interested um i did also post a pick a pile collective um reading that you can also check out it's about three hours long so it's just a fun way to exercise your own intuitive muscle for extra additional messages as well as at the very end of the video i also um included seven tips on ways to best utilize this energy at this time as well so if that sounds of something of interest to you feel free to check that out so yeah let's get into this spirit for libras whoa ooh, interesting okay new life y'all saw it immediately flipped in reverse okay interesting hmm. interesting spirit what else for libra Hmm. Anything else? Okay. So at the bottom we have yen. Interesting. So it feels like some of you Libras, you're not... I hate to be the bearer of what it seems, seemingly. Okay, I'm not going to say it is, but it may feel or seem like it could be bad news, but feels like some of you aren't yet ready to receive a new life that you've been asking for okay it feels like like this energy it's like something is still baking in the oven it's like something isn't quite ready yet okay um because we have new life that came out of reverse which is then followed by regeneration upright and it's like you know what i'm saying it's like all that it's like something had to burn down something has to completely disintegrate dissolve okay before maybe you can receive the new thing before you can step into the new reality the new life so you know what i'm saying but like i said it seems like it's bad news i don't feel like it is though because at the bottom we hear um here we have yin okay that's the receiving energy or feminine energy as well as co-create by the book so it's like there's something that needs to we need to do thing by you know in steps in order is what it feels like okay it feels like this is a you know some of you like i said you may not want to hear it but something isn't quite ready yet because we can't skip steps this feels like one of those things where you don't want to skip steps with this anyway even if you could this feels like it's too important to even want to skip steps this feels like something that you want to do the right way is what i'm hearing okay so whatever that is okay it's like something has to completely burn down first before you can step into this new life before you can step into this new timeline this new version of yourself whatever that might be it's like something has to first burn completely down let something completely go okay maybe kill off completely kill off an old version of yourself before you can allow and step into this new one okay it doesn't mean that you can't do it or that it's not there for you three through three on the timer but it feels like some of you maybe don't yet have maybe a clear idea about what that even looks like. Some of you want a new life, but you haven't taken the time or made the time, I should say, um, to really even wrap your mind around what that would look like, let alone, can I, do I believe that I could even have that thing or experience that type of life, right? Some of you, that is what the part of what maybe needs to be complete, burned completely down is maybe the limiting beliefs or ideas or thoughts about, you know, maybe a new life not even being possible. Maybe some of you have... Um, let certain ideologies or beliefs make you think you can't start over. Maybe it's like, I'm too old, or I need X amount of money, or I need certain things need to be in place before I can, like, I need to do this before I can be happy, or I need to do this. So it's, it's you know, something like that, that it feels like some of you Libras are really being asked to um, literally let completely go of, okay? Let completely die, die out before you can really step into this new thing. And I feel like some of you are really, honestly, in the long run, you'll really appreciate that more than spirit just giving you something that you wanted just because you wanted it, but then you end up losing it soon after because you couldn't maintain it. You know what I'm saying? For me personally, I'd rather spirit make me wait a little longer so I can get my mindset correct. So that way, when I do receive that thing, I can maintain it. I can keep it, you know, a bit longer. 
right? Than I would have otherwise. So some of you, that's kind of what this is. Okay, it's not saying that you're not going to receive something or you can't have something. It's just it feels like preparing you to be able to actually maintain what it is that you're going to receive. Okay, Does that makes sense. Spirit, what else for Libras as it pertains to the spread? What is this eleven eleven portal energy highlighting for them? What is it? What is it bringing up for them? What is it aligning them to? For Libras, clear, accurate messages for their highest, greatest, but only nothing less. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For Libras. Okay, here change decks. So family here is at the bottom. So for some of you, there's maybe a need to let go of some type of family dynamic before you can switch into a new reality. Some of you, there's like an attachment to maybe family or the idea of having a family or what that looked like or what you thought that would look like. Um, some of you, that's maybe what this is that you're needing to um, kind of like let it completely go. Wipe the slate clean is also what I'm getting here. So before you can receive maybe a new, you know, idea of what you want a family to look like, there's, there's, it feels like a need to first, you know, completely dissolve an old way of thinking or an old way of how we thought that should look, what we thought that should be, right? Old definitions that don't serve. So let's see. Spirit Wells for Libra. As it pertains to this 1111 portal, what has been highlighted for them? What is it being brought to their attention, to their awareness, to the forefront? Mm, see, like I said, it's something some of y'all aren't paying attention to. That's why that's in reverse. Okay, lighten up. Okay, some of you, you know, are maybe taking things a bit too seriously. And that's why I was kind of like, why I felt the need to immediately let you know that anything that you feel like isn't maybe going your way, that you seem like isn't, you know, like that's not what I want to hear type of thing. There's this inner, there's a need to, you know, it's kind of like, it's only going to make it worse if you don't allow yourself to just be like, you know what, it's not even that serious. I don't even care. Like it'll happen when it needs to, if it needs to, and I'm not even tripping anymore about it. There's a need for some of you to really do your best to embody that type of um, attitude about something. Okay. Because the longer you, you know, try to, hold resistance to it or have an attitude about it or be upset that it's not any different. It just makes it even worse. Okay. So we have a line that came out as well as pay attention that came out in reverse and healing. So it feels like some of you, you know, this, this, um, there's something that some of you maybe aren't really, like I said, aren't seeing yet. There's something you're not really paying attention to. That's trying to, you know, maybe it feels like put you in alignment or something that maybe needs that again, needs to be healed. Okay. That's like what I was talking about with this whole burning something down. It's like burning down the old way of doing the old way of being the old, um, ways that we were always seen to, you know, that things were done. Doesn't mean that it was correct just because that's how they did it. Didn't mean that it actually worked. Right. So for some of you, it's like something like that, that you're not paying attention to that is trying to be healed at this time, okay? And it feels like once you do that, that is what's gonna put you in alignment to really step into this new life, okay? That's what's gonna essentially turn this car from in the reverse to being upright, okay? Is what it feels like obviously you want is this new life, a new, you know, this major shift, but you have to align to that. And it feels like that is how you're gonna do it by way of, letting the old, you know, completely dissolve, let it completely, let all the old beliefs, you know, the, the wounds of the past, all that stuff, just, you know what I'm saying? Let it completely, if that's ultimately transmuting the energy. Okay. That's basically what's required here is a transmutation of the energy because energy can't be created nor destroyed. So it just means it has to change form. So it's the same thing as if you were, let's say to write down a whole list of all the things that you want to release and let go of all the fears that maybe you have, right? Writing down all those things and then you transmute the energy by way of burning that paper, right? Because you're changing it from one form to another, from paper to ash. You see what I'm saying? So where it goes from physical, which is the earth energy, to then fire, which is, you know, Sagittarius fire energy, right? So that's 
an easy way of talking about, you know, what we're talking about here, transmutation. Okay. That sometimes what's required to step into the brand new is that something has to be completely disintegrated, completely dissolved in order to align. Okay. But some of you, you're not paying attention. You're not paying attention to maybe, you know, what is trying to be healed or what healing is required for this to happen. What, what is trying to come up for you that needs your attention. Okay. So it feels like Libra, this, um, portal energy is giving you basically an opportunity to identify what these things are, but you, you're going to be needing to be willing to pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities as they arise. Okay. It feels like this has to do with obviously your family, family ties, family, um, generational wounds, generational patterns. Okay. If you want to call them curses, you can, I, I choose to not refer to that anymore. Okay. Because of the energy that's tied behind that word is just really disempowering. And if you speak disempowering words over your life, over your bloodline, then that's what's con going to continue to be experienced. So I just choose to not do that to any of us <laughs> anymore. So let's see. Spirit, what else for Libra? As pertains to this 11-11 portal spirit for Libra, what's going on? Queen of Swords. Okay. What else? So that's your energy. Okay, Libra. Libra Gemini Aquarius, maybe dealing with one of those. Four of Swords. Okay. More swords energy. Interesting. Anything else? Trying to get the cards out before I start speaking because I'm already getting messages and trying to hold them. <laughs> like, pause. Pause for the calls. Spirit, what else, please, for Libra? Queen of Wands. Hmm. Two of Wands. So. Swords, swords, wands, wands. Interesting. Some of you may be seeing two, two, four, four, something like that, like repeating the double digits. Overall message for Libra, please, Spirit, for this 11-11 portal energy. So overall message for them, please. Knight of Pentacles. So the three of wands is at the bottom. So these are... It feels like double confirmation at Libra. You guys are basically about to receive something you've been asking for. It's like spirit is really doing its best to try to put you in alignment for what it is that you're asking for. Some of you know exactly what this is that is trying to be healed at this time. And it's ultimately to put you in the position to stand in your confidence when it comes to making this decision or when it comes to stepping into this new timeline when it presents itself. It's like some of you are, are, are honestly... Um, you know, really trying to align and want to ru rush this process that it feels like, honestly, some of you are not really yet ready for. And that's just me keeping it a thousand with you. Okay. And I get that. That's sometimes hard for people to hear, but I'm not here to cupcake shit, sugarcoat it, you know, make it something it's not like I'm genuinely here to help you on a soul level. That's, that's what I do here. Okay. To share perspectives with you from a spiritual standpoint that you may not have considered to ultimately help you on your journey especially when it comes to our challenges, right? Because we're going to always have those. They're always going to come up at some point, but it's not about the challenges themselves. It's about how you navigate them. What do you do with them when they arise, right? What definition do you give them that then reflect that definition that tell you, yes, okay, you're correct, right? That's always up to us. So when we allow ourselves to be accountable in that way, that also empowers you to know that if I put myself in the situation, I can also get myself out, okay? So... Where are you, where can you allow yourself to see how, whatever it is that maybe yet has not yet manifested Libra, how is it really trying to put you in position to receive what it is you're asking for? What is it? What is, what is this trying to, what are you not paying attention to that needs your attention that needs healing? These are two cards of healing in two very different decks. Okay. Four swords represents healing. It also represents meditation. Some of you would really benefit, you know, this, whatever this, the clarity is that some of you may think you don't have, or that maybe you're having a hard time paying attention to, some of you will find by way of sitting with yourself, going within, taking time out to meditate, 
disconnecting maybe from people. So for those of you that watch a fuck ton of tarot readings, maybe stop watching them for a little while. Give yourself a few days, okay? Because after you get the clarity that you need, that is what's going to put you into position to take action. And you're going to do that from a place of knowing where it is that you're going and why you're doing it. Because you're passionate about it. And that's what's going to drive you forward is your passion, you know, to make this decision, to make this choice, to choose the direction you're going to choose. Okay. It's going to be made clear to you by way of you paying attention to the signs, how a spirit trying to communicate with you. Okay. So overall message here is the Knight of Pentacles. So this is the slowest moving night in the deck, but he's methodical. He has a plan. He knows where he's going. Even if it takes him a while, he, he takes his time in getting where he's going because he knows he's going to get there. So for some of you, you might have, this is, could also be um, in correspondence with what some of you are receiving, okay? This could definitely be some type of inheritance, meaning some type of income that some of you are receiving that you've been waiting for that's going to put you into this energy of, of being ready to receive, step into this new life, okay? Others of you, this is just something that you've been waiting for for quite some time, ready for a new life, ready for a new start, okay? And some of you, that is why maybe it's taking its time, it's taking a while because Anything that you, it's like, do you really want something that was rushed, right? It's the same as like baking a cake. Do you want a cake that was baked to its fullest, you know, capa perfect capacity where you know it's going to be fully cooked, but not overcooked or undercooked? Or do, would you want a cake that's rushed that, you know, there's a possibility that, yeah, you got it maybe a little bit faster, but there's a high chance that in the middle it'll be undone and you might get sick from it, right? I might as well, it's like you'd want to, it would maybe, you feel like it would probably benefit you to just wait a few more minutes, right? So that's what this kind of feels like, okay, is that there's, it's like spirit is the time that it feels like some of you feel like this, something is taking too long. It's really just giving you time to get rid of what doesn't belong. It's giving you time to burn down the old way of thinking, to really get your mindset in alignment, right, for what it is that you really want, to give you an opportunity to pay attention to what, what is, what do I need to heal? What is this trying to show me? What is this trying to help me with? What truth do I need to express? What do I need to say? What needs to be said, right? What clarity do I need? And how do I get that clarity? What do I need to do, right? This is, again, what needs to be healed and allowing yourself to actually do the thing, do what you're being guided to do by way of the guidance that you receive in that meditation. Choice is always yours, okay? The path that you pick is yours. But I'm just saying, it, Spirit is making it very clear here, Libra, that you're not going to step into, like, the choice is yours, your free will does play a part. But it's like, you're not going to step into a new life until you really allow the old one to dissolve and perish. Okay? It's like, some of you, that's the sacrifice. That some of you, this is the sacrifice that you're needing, that you're being asked to step into by way of your alignment. That's how you get an alignment, is by way of allowing being willing to let go of all that doesn't serve, being letting that be the sacrifice in itself, your old life for your new one, being willing to sacrifice the old version of you for the new, higher version of you. Are you willing to do that? Some of you, that's a question that you're needing to ask yourself. Some of you, that's exactly what you signed up for when you chose the family that you chose before you incarnated into this lifetime. Because they were the ones that could teach you what you needed to learn. Those are the ones that could help you on this path. Help you choose, you know, the right, the right path because you know what it looks like to not, if you don't evolve. Some of you, that's what, what part of, you know, what it is that some of you needed to learn to, that you're being asked to pay attention to. But some people around you are showing you what it looks like if you don't evolve. So while, yeah, it, people also are showing you, yeah, this is what it looks like to heal and to have the things that you want and to have, you know, a happy life and all those things. But this is also on the flip side of that same coin, right? Is, you know, the things that some of us are having a hard time releasing and letting go of, right? Is also going to show you what that looks like if you don't do that. If you don't let those things go, the new life that you want, right? You can kiss it goodbye. If you don't allow yourself to burn it all down, okay? To allow yourself to, you know, get ready for what it is you're asking for by also by way of giving yourself the time that you need to recover. Okay. Some of you, it's like, yeah, I can burn it all down. I let go of all these things, but you haven't gave yourself any time to heal, meaning any time 
to really recalibrate your energy, to readjust to these changes, to readjust to all the things that you've cut out of your life. Some of you haven't given yourself any type of time to really adjust to that, to recalibrate to that. Some of you, that is also what this is talking about as well. If the other didn't resonate for some of you, that is what this is. Okay. But some of you have maybe gone through some major losses or some things, and it's not that you're not in alignment or, you know, that you don't deserve this new life that some of you have been asking for. It's just spirit is trying to give you space and give you time to actually be ready for it. So when it comes, you're not super overwhelmed because you haven't really even had time to finish grieving an old life or an old, you know, connection or something that you lost before you can celebrate something new. You see what I'm saying? It's like, for example, for people that, that are um, widows, right? They lose a spouse. And then next thing you know, they meet someone not even trying, but they meet someone literally like maybe two months after they pass and they're like, holy fuck, like, I like, yeah, I need, you know, I know I need to move on, but I'm not ready yet. Like, I haven't even given myself a chance to like heal from that past, this person I was with that just suddenly left my life, right? Unexpectedly. So I feel like for some of you, you know, the waiting period that some of you are experiencing at this time, it's not to say that you're never going to get it or that it's not there for you, but it's just spirit is trying to feels like support you and actually being ready for it. So when it does happen, when you do like, right, when it, when it arrives, when you are ready to receive it, that you can actually enjoy it. You can actually embrace it. You can actually, you know what to do with it, right? Because you've healed from what has already left. You've properly prepared the environment to receive this new thing. You've properly made room for it, right? So Libra, that's what I have for you. I really hope this reading was um, beneficial. This It felt definitely deep, <laughs> um, but it feels very healing as well. So I trust that those who need it will receive it. And um, But if you did find resonance, you know what to do. I love you all so much. And until next time, howdy.